Sometimes you might disappear for a little while. And you might feel like that you're the only one fighting. And then all of a sudden, one of your comrades comes up out of a hole and he's killed 800 people in that hole. That's scripture, whether you knew that or not. So if you fall in a hole, just go ahead and keep swinging the sword. Can I finish with this? Shamgar was standing there and he'd got whipped year after year after year after year. But his great, 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 great granddaddy was sitting outside of his tent and Melchizedek came and he fed him meat and gave him milk. And Melchizedek told him that thy seed shall possess the gates of their enemy. As long as Shamgar never recognized who he was, he would get whipped over and over and over again. But one day he looked around at his family and his wife and how wore out that she was and his children, how ragged that he was. And he realized who he was. The scripture said that one shall take a thousand. And because the devil is stupid, he only sent 600. (laughs) I did that for a reason. I know I'm unethical. But the stupid devil comes sometimes by the hundreds to your house. But you're given that you could kill a thousand. One day. Thousand tomorrow, thousand the next day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Yes, sir. How do you do it? One at a time. One at a time. You kill one, it gives you faith and confidence to get another one. And it gives you faith and confidence to get another one. Before long, 10 and 20 and 30 and 40 and 50 and 60. Glory to God. And then you come to church like a bee in the honey and you're dancing and you're shouting and you're praising the Lord and you're in victory. And What happened to them? One at a time. One day at a time. One victory at a time. To him that overcometh. To him that overcometh. Not him that surviveth. But to him that overcomes. Not to him that quits and runs and fails and goes back. It's to him that keeps standing. I want to say this to you. We shall overcome.